In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert from kilometers per hour to meters per second and also meters per second to kilometers per hour. I'm going to show you the quick way of how to get the answer and also how to show your work if you have a test or something. So let's talk about the quick method. So if you have the value in kilometers per hour and you want to convert that to meters per second, what you need to do is divide your value by 3.6 and that'll give you give the answer in meters per second. Now let's say if you have a number in meters per second and you want to get the answer in kilometers per hour, well you need to do the opposite. The opposite of division is multiplication so you want to multiply by 3.6. So keep that in mind. Now let's start with an example problem. Let's say we have 40 kilometers per hour and we want to convert that to meters per second. So to go from kilometers per hour to meters per second divided by 3.6. 40 divided by 3.6 is 11.1. .1. So that is our answer. And I'm going to show you how you could set it up to get this answer. So start with what you're given. 40 kilometers and we're going to put the unit hours on the bottom. Now you need to know the conversion factors. One kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. And also one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So the first thing we want to do is convert kilometers to meters. So let's write another fraction. We want the unit kilometers to cancel and the unit meters to remain. So there's two sides to this equation, the one kilometer and the 1,000 meters. Which one should we put on the bottom? Since we want the unit kilometers to cancel, since it's on the top here, we need to put kilometers on the bottom as well. So I'm going to write one kilometer on the bottom of this fraction and 1,000 meters on the top so that the unit kilometers cancel. So now I have meters, which is what I want. Next, we need to convert hours into seconds, but let's convert it to minutes. And so we're going to use this conversion factor. So notice that the unit hours is on the bottom. In the next fraction, we want the unit hours to be on the top. So we're going to put this part on the top. So we have one hour which is equal to 60 minutes. So now we can cross out the unit hours. Using the last conversion factor, we need to convert minutes to seconds. Since we have minutes on the bottom, we need to put this part on top and then the other part on the bottom. So now the unit minutes will cancel. So we're left over with meters on top and seconds on the bottom, which is what we want. So now we need to do the math and here's how we're going to do it. We're going to multiply by the numbers that we see on the top and divide by the numbers that are on the bottom. So it's going to be 40 multiplied by 1000 divided by 60 and then divided by 60 again. So you should get 11.1 .1 repeated. So it's about 11.1 .1 meters per second, which is the same as what we see here. For the sake of practice, let's try another example. Feel free to pause the video and convert 75 kilometers per hour into meters per second. So go ahead and try this yourself. Write out all the steps and the conversion factors. So first, let's get the answer the quick way. The answer is going to be 75 divided by 3.6. So it's 20.83, the 3 is repeated meters per second. But now let's show the work. So start with what you're given and let's begin by converting kilometers into meters. So keep in mind one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. So we could cancel the unit kilometers. Next let's convert meters into or rather let's convert hours into minutes. One hour is 60 minutes. So now we can cross out the unit hours. 
And then the last thing we need to do is convert minutes into seconds. So one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So the setup is the same here. So it's going to be 75 times 1,000 divided by 60 and divided by 60 again. And you should get 20.83 meters per second. So now you know how to convert from kilometers per hour to meters per second. Now what about the reverse? How do we go from meters per second to kilometers per hour? Let's try this example. Let's convert 24 meters per second into kilometers per hour. If you want to pause the video and you want to try it yourself, go ahead. So let's do it the shortcut way. Let's take 24 meters per second and we're going to multiply it by 3.6. And that's going to give us the answer of 86.4. But now let's show the work. So let's start with 24 meters per second. So keep in mind, there's 60 seconds in one minute, 60 minutes in one hour, and one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So there's many ways in which we can do this. We can convert meters into, excuse me, meters into kilometers first, or seconds into minutes, and then minutes into hours. Let's convert meters to kilometers first. So we have the unit meters here. We want that to be on the bottom as well. So we're going to use this part of the conversion factor. So we're going to put 1,000 meters on the bottom. And now the other part, one kilometer, has to go on top. So now we can cross out the unit meters. So we got the first unit that we want, kilometers. Now let's change seconds into minutes. So we're going to use this conversion factor. Now, because we have seconds on the bottom, we want to put that same unit on the top. So we're going to put this one on the top. So we have 60 seconds, which equals one minute. And so we can cross out the unit seconds. Now, for the last fraction, we need to change minutes into hours using this one. So we have the unit minutes on the bottom. We've got to put that same unit on the top. So we're going to have 60 minutes on the top, one hour on the bottom. Now let's do the math. So we're going to take 24 and divide it by 1,000 because this is on the bottom, and then times by 60, and then multiply that result by 60. And this will give us our answer, 86.4 kilometers per hour. So as you can see, it's not that difficult to convert from meters per second to kilometers per hour. For the sake of practice, let's try another example. Go ahead and convert 19 meters per second into kilometers per hour. So take a minute and work on that problem. So let's get the answer the quick way. Let's multiply 19 by 3.6, and that will give us 68.4. Now let's put it all together. So let's start with 19 meters on the top of the fraction, and then seconds on the bottom. So we could follow the same process as the last example by converting meters into kilometers first, or we can convert seconds to minutes first. Let's do it different this time. Let's convert seconds into minutes first. So there's 60 seconds per one minute. The order in which you convert doesn't really matter. Your answer will end up being the same. Now let's convert minutes into hours. There's 60 minutes in one hour. The important thing is that all the units need to cancel except the ones that you're trying to get. So you want to cancel every other unit except kilometers and hours. Here we have minutes that have been canceled. We have hours on the bottom, which is what we want. The only thing we need to do is change meters into kilometers. So there's a thousand meters per one kilometer. 
The only way you could cancel the units is if one is on top and the other is on the bottom. If they're both on top, you can't cancel it. If meters was on top, it would be meters times meters, which will be square meters. So now we have kilometers on the top and we have hours on the bottom. Once you have that, regardless of the order in which you cancel the units, you're going to get the answer. So it's going to be 19 times 60 times 60 divided by 1,000, which is 68.4 kilometers per hour. And so that's the final answer. Now you know how to change meters per second to kilometers per hour. Thanks again for watching.